um, hello YouTube, this is Sebo on a and um, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to um, edit your ELS 7 files, like to make them red, and like make the whole light bar red, or um, on the walls, and like blue on the walls and stuff, or like red and blue on the walls, so let's begin, um, my grandfather I bought it on Steam, so this is mine, yours going to be different from all um, this, so um, please don't be mad because you can't find it, because you should know how to find it if you um, can't install your stuff um, first. I'm gonna show you how to make it like r lights red and stuff on the wall. Um, this is like the type of um things, type of lights. Um, mine's are LEDs. Then it could be halogen. Then it could be um LED halogen. I think that's all it can be is LED and halogens. Um, I forgot. Well, anyway, then this is like the actual light colors. Like they can be blue, red, amber, um, and some other colors, colors or color. Um, then. Alright, this is what I'm talking about, like making a red and stuff on the wall. Alright, if you want them to be red and blue, you change this to red or blue, it doesn't really matter, and change whatever whatever you have this is, change this to opposite. So like, this was red, change this to blue. If this was um, red, change this to blue. But yeah, don't really touch this, I don't, I didn't touch all that, so. That's for your like, warning lights, like um, the lights in the back of your car, the yellow lights, I say. I don't really know if they call the warning lights or whatever I call them warning lights. Then this, I don't know what the white ones are for. Then this, um, I haven't touched none of this, so I don't know what's that for either. But um, yeah, that's that part. Then let me show you the other part. Um, this is the ELS file. This is where you can change your intensity and stuff, and I think change your controls. Like um, um, in the other video, I was telling you about that M key that change turns on the info panel. I think it's it says N in here, but I don't know. Mine's just M, so it said M. I might have changed it, but um, that might be the default. But um, you can try it out. Um, it would be Control N. It says it's still right here by these. It requires that um an indicator key be pressed in combination with combo keys. So um, all right. Um, you see that? So let me go ahead and get down. All right. Environmental lighting. This is like the range and intensity of your lights. So I'm gonna explain this to you. Range of your primary lights. That's how far it's gonna go. I put mine at 70. I forgot what it was at first. But um, this is my settings. Yours are gonna be different if you download it and didn't change on yet. So intensity, I update up to nine. So um, I want my lights to be brighter. Then the range of my secondary lights is eight. I bump that up as well. Intensity is 10. Range of my warning lights is seven. I bump them up both to seven, I think. Um, then this, I didn't touch this. This is just stock. Um, basically, this is um, how bright it is going to be in the morning, evening, and after, um, in the night. So, I just left that the same. I didn't really want to touch that. Then this is the miscellaneous. If you don't want it your thing, your um, information menu to beep, or well, your lights and stuff to beep when you turn them on, you'll come in here, turn off sound effects, and this is the flash delay. So, if you want them slower, I think it'd be higher and um, faster, be like. Faster be like negative two or something like that, I think, and just faster be like I mean, dang it, I got myself mixed up. Like a lower, like a negative number be faster, I think, and like a higher number just be slower. Um, all right, I'm just gonna leave that like that, and that's for a multiplayer the same as this. Um, I don't know what that's for, but yeah, and this is um like the ELS range for the player and AI. Um, I think you can change that. It's different from this, I think. That's just the individual lights, but this is just like for you in the AI. So you can disable AI for you, um, for the AI on here in multiplayer and like, um, single player. Then um, max ELS cars at once. I think that's like gonna block the limit of cars can spawn. Then um, I don't know what this does, but yeah, this is basically what cars is gonna have like the, the ELS. I think. Well, yeah. I think, well, the ambulance I have on for everything, um, you can change it if you want, but yeah, some of these are very different game for a um, different part of the game, EFLC, episodes from Liberty City, I don't have that, I just have Grand Theft Auto, but um, if you have it, yeah, you can either disable it or enable it if you want, um, well, alright, um, that's mostly it, so thanks for watching, oh yeah, um, hold on, before I end the video, if you want to see the um, stuff I run on my game daily, I run all this. Tow script, police helper, traffic flow, spotlight, police and first response, of course. LPR, it's like, um, as you know, if you know, like, real cop stuff, it's like, um, the license plate reader thing. It really helps. Then police helper. 
It's pretty good. I got flares and stuff now and then. Of course, LCPFR. Alright, thanks for watching. If you need any help, as usual, comment um, or PM me and I'll help you the best as I can. Alright, this has been CB1VA. And um, I'll catch you later.